Hey, what's up everyone? Aaron here with Happy Hydro. This week, I'm gonna get into some growing fundamentals. Air temperature, humidity, psh, that stuff's a breeze, right? Let's go see if you know your stuff. All right, today I am getting into two growing fundamentals. As you heard earlier, that's gonna be air temperature and humidity. Both air temp and humidity are pretty important variables, not only when you're growing your plants, but when you're setting up your grow room as well. So let's talk about temperature first. Ideally, you would want your air temperature to be in the range of 72 degrees Fahrenheit and 82 degrees Fahrenheit during the day cycle. At night, you can expect that air temp to drop a little lower than 70 degrees, and that's totally normal. You don't have to worry too much about that. A plant will technically make it in a range from 65 to 90 degrees, but if you can really hone in on that 72 to 82 without any crazy fluctuations, you're gonna see the rewards of better growth and healthier plants, which are prone to less problems in the long run. I'm going to go into the other side of your grow room environment, and that of course is humidity. In case you didn't know, humidity is the amount of water in the air, and that's relative to temperature. That's why when we talk about your grow room environment, we usually clump these two variables together. Pretty much go hand in hand. The ranges of humidity I'm gonna recommend do directly correlate with the temperature range that I provided with you earlier. Something important to remember is that humidity shouldn't be the same throughout the entire life cycle of your plant. You're gonna see higher humidity readings when you're working with seedlings and clones. Clones need a super high humidity level. We recommend 80 to 95% humidity for them. We definitely recommend using a humidity dome to achieve such high levels of moisture in the air. If you're working with seedlings and non-clones, in the vegetative stage, you're gonna wanna see a range of humidity between 60 and 70%. And for the most important part, flowering. You're gonna wanna see that humidity range between 45 and 55%. And just as an added tidbit, you know, to make sure you got it all right to the very end, that's right, we're talking about harvest, drying and curing, we recommend air temperature between 64 and 74 degrees and a humidity level of 45 to 55%. Of course, humidity is important for high yielding plants. But if you're sitting there thinking, ah, what does it matter? I could be off a little bit. You're wrong, wrong, wrong. There are tons of other consequences for having a wider range of humidity. For example, if you're planting regular seeds, a higher humidity usually tends to more female plants, as opposed to a lower humidity, which is more male plants. So this is really important to remember depending on what kind of goal you're trying to achieve. Make sure that you're on top of your grow room game. There are tons of tools to help you make your life easier and more accurate. Temperature and humidity sensors are pretty much mandatory in any quality grow room. It could be as something as simple as a Bluetooth sensor push monitor, or if you really want to beef up your game, try that Pulse One environment. Wi-Fi capable, so you can check those plants anywhere. As for emergency tips with humidity, if it's too low, you got a couple options. One is get a humidifier in there. Crank up that setting so your plants are soaking in some of that moisture. Or if you have the time, walk around with a little spray bottle of water. Don't forget to whisper to those little babes. Now, if your air temperature is off, definitely play with your ventilation and your light settings. For ventilation, AC Infinity is incredible because you can set the temperature monitor and just plug and play. It'll kick on when it's supposed to and turn off when it's too cold. I will definitely toss some links down in the description so you don't have to look any further. Hope you enjoyed that little blast of info. And as always, stay happy, friends.